Hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your world weather headlines for Friday. And we are tracking a number of lows at the moment around the planet. In fact, today's video is mostly about low pressure because as the Northern Hemisphere comes out of summer, we're going to see more in the way of low pressure zones forming to the north of the equator. And tropical storm wise at the moment, it's a little bit quieter, but we're still dealing with tropical storm Cantu up around Japan and Korea at the moment. So I've got more details on that in a second. But first of all, the low pressure map, all the areas that you see with the purple shading and also the darker colors down here indicate low pressure on the planet, whereas the whiter areas show high pressure zones. So we've got a bit of low pressure as we would expect all around the uh, Antarctic region. But in the north, there's this big uh, low around Alaska and parts of British Columbia and um, the Yukon. We've also got out to Hudson Bay, another area of low pressure and around Russia and India, some large areas of low pressure as well. So there's a lot of rainmakers around the planet at the moment. But we kick off with Japan and tropical storm uh, Cantu, which is still around. I mean, it's been here for what, a couple of weeks now, um, churning away. It came up around Taiwan and passed by Shanghai, and now it's coming in to Japan. It's been stalled out at sea, really, for the last number of days. So as we take a closer look at Cantu, you can see here winds are 80 k's an hour, uh, gusting to 100. So that's gusting just over 60 miles an hour for those of you in America. Uh, tropical storm. So it's not a typhoon anymore, but it's been stuck here. Look at that. All those circles indicate a timestamp every sort of six hours, and it really has been stuck there. Now it's about to pick up speed, and it falls apart as it moves across Japan. But from our last update, which showed it tracking to the north, now it's coming in to the more populated centers, including Tokyo. So this is definitely one to keep an eye on. It's a tropical storm, so it's not going to get any worse than it is now. And it does become an ex-typhoon by the time, or an ex-tropical storm by the time it gets to the um, central eastern side of Japan, and then it moves out to sea. So this is one to keep an eye on. It'll have some very heavy rain. So the rainfall totals here, especially around Kochi, uh, we're talking about over 100 millimeters, maybe 200 millimeters still to come in that area. Also parts of Hiroshima and then across more to central parts of Japan as that system moves through. It's also bringing in a bit of rain to the eastern side of South Korea as that system comes on in. So a fair bit of rain coming through. Now moving further over across Asia and into India, we've got this tropical low that's been sitting here for a number of days now, driving in some very heavy rain around Kathmandu and the Himalaya Ranges. So we're seeing more, um, more rainfall in this area for the next wee while. This low is slowly falling apart, but it's not going anywhere away anywhere fast. Look at the last 24 hours of rain. 250 millimeters there in those white areas or over 10 inches. That's a lot of wet weather pushing through. You don't have to go very far north over the over the mountains and it's dry, but this heavy rain has been falling for the last 24 hours and there's even more coming in. This is the next 24 hours showing a fair bit of rain here around Lucknow and we're still seeing heavy rain falling around Kathmandu. It's a little bit drier out on the western side around New Delhi. The sun comes back out as you head over towards Pakistan. Moving further north now, and we're going into Russia, we've got low pressure here around Russia and out around Greenland and Iceland, and even some northern parts of the UK and Northern Ireland seeing low pressure driving through there, although it's encouraging this warmer southerly flow coming in for now. Uh, but on the other side of it, there is that cooler change coming in to parts of Ireland and Northern Ireland. And as you look at the rainfall accumulation, you can see Iceland, parts of the UK and Northern Ireland getting that rainfall. Also a large portion of Europe seeing rain coming through uh, over the next day or so, mostly from Italy off to Belarus, whereas the western side not looking quite so wet. Okay, moving further around now and back over to North America where we've got a couple of big low pressure systems. The first one is out here in Canada over Hudson Bay, and the second one out here around Alaska and parts of Canada. This is quite a big system, this one, pulling down um, quite a bit of a northerly flow 
which is turning to snow along the mountains there. We'll show you that in a second. But here is the rainfall. You can see it's pushing in around British Columbia and into the mountains, and then it moves across the plains. These areas here with the black boxes that you can see are indicating some flood risks or heavy rain risks over the next wee while. Some of you might not be watching this though until a bit later after the broadcast, so obviously keep up to date with your local official warnings. But at the time of recording this, we were seeing more rain around the Gulf of Mexico, probably the remnants from Nicholas that came through. Here's that low around Alaska and parts of British Columbia, centered just near Anchorage, pulling down these northerlies between Russia and Alaska, coming in through the strait across the Bering Sea, deadliest catch, and windy, windy northerlies coming in across Unalaska, and then it curves in as this wet westerly for British Columbia. Very interesting to see the winds being squashed along the coastline there because of the mountains, keeping it from spreading further into Canada. And that is turning into snow, very heavy snow. In fact, over um, 50 centimeters of snow coming for some of the mountains along here that you can see in the brighter pink shading. Um, but this is really getting into that time of the year where we're going to see more and more snow events coming in around the Northern Hemisphere. Let's go to the Southern Hemisphere, a strange stretched out map, but it means that we can cover uh, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and on the other side, South America. So we've got everything covered. So at the moment, what we're seeing is southerlies, cooler southerlies coming into Cape Town, coming into Perth, coming into the southern parts of Australia, few thunderstorms through that section in Alice Springs as the warm and the cold mix. And around New Zealand as well, we've got a bit of a southerly flow coming through with the temperatures down a wee bit. And it's a similar story around the southern part of South America, a small low pressure system there driving in a bit of wet weather. This is the temperature map. You can see it's still fairly warm around northern parts of Australia and also around Madagascar. And when we take a look at the precipitation, well, this is actually humidity, relative humidity in the atmosphere. So the brighter blue areas are where you're more likely to get your thunderstorms and your heavy rain, whereas the orange-brown color that you see here around Antarctica shows that it is very dry. So fairly dry weather pushing in around parts of New Zealand. You can see that wet weather around Australia there. Pretty dry around parts of South Africa as well. And as we head over to South um, America, Fairly dry in this area here where it does need the rain. And I'm sorry for those of you in Argentina and Chile who have to tip your head on an angle to see the map. Let's take a look at our image of the day. It's Cantu coming here in from uh, near Korea and moving into Japan. This is how it looked on Friday Japan time into the morning as the storm comes on through. So uh, hopefully it's not going to be too problematic, but it is going to drive in a lot of rain and you will get those damaging winds as it comes through over the next 12 hours. So uh, all the best for those of you in Japan. We will be back again on Monday with our next Global Weather Extremes update. Have a great weekend.